Next week, a sophomore at Valor Christian High School with a remarkable personal story will be in Washington, D.C. for a national poetry competition. Yeah, she used to live on the streets of Uganda, but her life changed forever when she met her adoptive mom, who happens to be a teacher at Valor Christian. Tori Mason joins us now, and Tori, you spoke with them about their journey. It's really incredible, guys. Her mother used to be a documentarian. In 2004, she traveled to Uganda, hoping to come back with an award-winning story. But instead, she came back with an award-winning daughter. Jessica Gilbert is quiet in the classroom. Uh, English is my second language. I can't yeah. tell. <laughs> Thank you. But she certainly has a way with words. I, too, by Langston Hughes. Especially someone else's words. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh. Jessica's been awarded for reciting other people's stories. He never saw a violin, but he saw a lifetime of violins. But it's her own that deserves a prize. Jessica. Oh, when I was younger, um, I was begging on the street with my mom, my birth mom. She died in Uganda when Jessica was five. She had no idea her mother-to-be was so close by. I think really it was supernatural God telling me, now here's your new life path. After the adoption, they came to America for a better education, but Jessica's past came with her. Well, she struggles with some learning disabilities, and it all is from trauma from being a street kid. She thought poetry would improve her short-term memory. Swilled like a sour stone. And as her memory got better, so did her poems. With me, my mom was hitting me, saying, what just happened? And I said, I think she won. I won that, and I was really, I was in shock. My face was just like. Now they're hoping for a national win, inspired by the country where it all began. It just shows how much, like, boundaries I've been able to, like, overcome. And I just represent also Uganda really well, too. Like, hard work pays off, and I can really see that right now. Now, Jessica and her mother actually had to leave right after our interview to rush across town for one of her last poetry practices. In just a few days, she'll compete against the other 49 state winners to become the Poetry Out Loud national champion. Jim? We wish her well. Boy, she is a special young lady. Oh, yeah. And good news.